Andres! Andre! I got drinks. <laughs> As you can see, we got the nice little teacups. Nice little teacups. It's gonna be great. So, okay, we have MD2020. Good stuff. Ooh. It's fruity. This one is a red grape wine. As you can see right there on the screen, it is red. I'm sorry, glare. My bad. Red grape wine. This is probably the cheapest stuff you could ever get at any liquor store ever. However, it actually looks pretty good. Now, I've had MD before, so I would assume that the stuff is pretty good. It'd be like the other flavors. I had a strawberry banana, and it tasted amazing. It didn't taste like alcohol at all, even though it had 13% alcohol by volume. So guess what? We're going to be trying the red grape kind. So, let's go ahead and pop this sucker open. And let's see if we can do it, except I'm a weakling, so I can... Okay, there we go. It's a weird it's, it's just the way that the glass is shaped is really it. So let's give it a whiff. It just tastes... It tastes... Oh, wow. I'm drunk already. It's, it smells just like a red grape wine. Not even red, just a grape wine. That's all it smells like. You know how you it smell like... It smells like grape juice. Yeah, it smells like Welch's, yeah. that kind of thing. It smells like Welch's grape juice. And it's got that little bit of that alcoholic smell, too. It's just like a tiny bit. It just kind of smells like stale Welch's. Like, you know... I wouldn't even say stale. It's just because it's got alcoholic content. And that's, that's why it smells that way. So but it's like so, we have it's so weak that it's like... Ooh. It almost doesn't... Teacups. Oh yeah. Smell alcohol. That bubbly. Blah, 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 blah. It's okay, there's one there, and uh, pour you some. Very sorry. Oh, I, didn't, I don't know why I didn't pour yours first. I'm such a gentleman. All right, here you are. I'm just the ignored assistant. <laughs> hey, we love you anyway. So okay, we know what it smells like. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh god, it tastes like Shabbat. <laughs> Not to me. It actually tastes pretty good to me. I can taste the grape. You know what? I'm just not a wine person, kind of like, you know, Brad's not a pickle person. I'm just not a wine person, but as far as wine goes, okay, like, this is better than a lot of them. Rule number one in media. Maybe not one, but maybe two. <laughs> Don't mention someone who's better than you in your video when you're trying to do a similar thing. Okay. My apologies, Brad. She does not know what she's talking about. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. It yeah, no, it's fine. And no, I'm not gonna edit that out. No, that's that's staying in there. Because because Brad Probably. Cheers. I don't exist anymore. Don't come after me, come after this guy. Yeah, because exactly I'm the guy who's, who's running the whole shtick. Oh. Mm. Did, did I pour you too much? Nope. Are you sure? Absolutely. Because you did not seem to like that stuff. I'm still sipping away here. Yeah, I don't really. You're just like, oh, oh, bleh, oh my god. How, how could I do? And I'm just in here like, eh. Uh, it tastes like, it tastes ah. like Judaism, but. It tastes like Judaism? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. A you shout out, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you grow up in Hanukkah. <laughs> no, I did not. I, I was raised. I was raised Catholic. I, I didn't. I didn't get any of the Hanukkah. Jewish and that. then Catholic. How do you explain that? You don't. Moving on. I call that conflicting. Yeah. So okay, that's the MD twenty twenty, the red grape wine, which I don't think is bad. I really don't. I really don't think it's, it's that bad. It's okay. And then we got one that is apparently only open for a limited time. We got here, mm -hmm. Pinnacle. Yeah, Pinnacle, it's another one of those. It's a caramel apple. This I'm a fan of. It's a, it's a caramel apple vodka. I feel like we should have tried this first because now it's like wine. Should have tried that first? Well, if you want, I can go and I can, oh, no, wait, rinse, no. I can rinse the glasses out. I am the assistant. I will Let's return. <laughs> really? I can't explain her behavior sometimes. It, it baffles me. It really baffles me. <laughs> Folks, you can't see what she just did, but let me rest, let me rest you assured. <laughs> she put it on my head. Okay! So <laughs> you okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, so okay, so now we're back. 
we're, we're back, and we got the we got the glasses here. We're good. We got the glasses. Oh wow, I'm drunk. So got the teacups. We got the pinnacle. It looks promising enough. I mean, pinnacle's pretty much the king of novelty vodka. Pretty much any flavor that they come out with, it's almost guaranteed to be good. I have yet to have a pinnacle vodka that didn't taste like what they were advertising. You ever have the one that's the Swedish fish? Have you ever had the one that's the Swedish fish? No. They have a, they have a flavor that is Swedish fish. And it tastes like alcoholic Swedish fish. It is damn delicious. I don't believe you. I we, have to see it. We will have to try it sometime. Oh my goodness. I'll, I'll, we will we try it sometime. We'll next go to the liquor store. We'll get, we'll get that. Because that, that stuff is amazing. It's Sorry, heaven in a bottle. Right? That sounds like doesn't exist. So, okay. Like, yeah. like a unicorn. Yeah, right? <laughs> only only virgins can see unicorns, so apparently only virgins can see good pinnacle vodka, right? What is this here? I don't see anything. Oh, it's air right here. Maybe, maybe it's just because I'm a Virgo. That's why I can see it. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bank on that. Either way, That's we got the bottle. That's as virgin as we're getting tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we the, so we got the bottle here. Let me go ahead and open the sucker up. Oh wow, that opened really easy. Wow. Yeah, I noticed you open bottles with your left hand too. I do, yeah. You do that too. Yeah, just, what does it matter? It's a bottle. Because nobody else does that. Okay, so let's give this a whiff. Oh my god, it smells exactly like caramel apple. <laughs> it smells. It smells exactly it like smells an al. Delicious. It smells exactly like an alcoholic Chill. caramel apple. And I'm talking. Nice to say and, I, and I'm not just gonna say an ordinary caramel apple. It smells like the kind you get at the carnival. Oh. Smell it. Oh. Smell it. It's mine. Yes, it is. Go ahead and smell it. Smell it again. Tell me that doesn't smell like alcoholic carnival. I barely even smell the uh, alcohol. I just smell the carnival. <laughs> <laughs> You, I mean, right? you smell the toys and the rides and the vomit yeah. and everything. <laughs> it smells great. It actually doesn't smell like vodka. It's, it doesn't have that vodka smell to it. Yeah, you know it's weird. Like I can I can smell alcohol it in very it, sweet. but it's not overbearing. It's not overbearing. I can't smell it at all. It's it's I really actually I, I'm willing to try this. I really want to try this. Let's get this going. Excellent. Pour just a little bit for us because this will be stronger stuff. I'm not going to pour as much for us. Like, like that's all. That's all we're getting. Because pinnacle, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. Put it like right there. Ooh, getting the alcohol. Getting the alcohol burps already. Jeez, you're a lightweight. Yes, I am. I weigh 110. Worse than me. I weigh 110. It's okay. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, that's good. This is probably the best vodka I've ever had. I taste so much more caramel than I do apple. That's good. That's that's alcoholic caramel. Yeah. <laughs> that's I, that's I, good. Oh, I, I, I just don't have anything bad to say about this. This is fabulous. Yeah, this is this is delicious. I really wish they wouldn't make this a limited flavor. Oh, you wish they had like all year round yeah. and whatnot. Yeah, that's a I'm good idea. Like, uh, Ooh, well, supplies last. I'm like, come on! Why do you have to make like the best flavors available for a short period of time? Really? Yeah, you know, I'm not quite sure why they do that. You yeah. gotta keep this one. I, I think the pecan pie one, which we saw along with this, was kind of ridiculous. Like, who gives a crap about pecan pie flavored alcohol? I but, like pecan. I mean, but it's just you know, it's, it's good stuff. It's like, I mean, what I'm saying is they can get rid of that one. They can keep this one permanently because it's awesome. Pinnacle! Keep her on the caramel apple! Ooh. We like the caramel apple! <laughs> Good stuff, I'm gonna seriously, finish this up here. Seriously, Pinnacle. It's like that one that I saw that I'm pretty sure was like candy corn flavor. Which, I might be wrong. I might be wrong, internet, I might be wrong. But it was like a candy corn vodka. And, <laughs> god damn it, that looked so appealing. Hmm. Because... I candy might, corn's disgusting. I was gonna say, I might not really care for candy corn all that much, but picture it with alcohol. Just so you know, audience, if you eat candy corn, you're a fucking idiot. Hey, don't say, hey, don't say that to the internet, because some <laughs> of the internet likes candy corn. Do you corn. know how they 
recycle. I apologize on here. behalf of Ashana here, ladies they and gentlemen. They recycle it, and it's the same crap in different bags, and it never goes bad, and it's suspicious, and it tastes weird, and you're weird for eating. On to the next thing. <laughs> we have Concord Grape Wine from the PA Renaissance Fair. Concord Grape? Oh, gasp. I want Victory Grape. <laughs> I have two Hermes. <laughs> and this is why I keep her on the show. So, okay. It says here it is a medium sweet and fruity wine. It says it right beneath the word Concord. It sounds good. You can see it right there. Don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. <clears throat> and it's just got a picture of what looks like sailors coming in, done, trying to do trades with with the Indian. That's a real weird picture to have on the front of that. Look, look at that. What is he dangling above that child's head? I'm not sure. It looks, looks like, like intestines. Yeah, it looks like organs. <laughs> it's like, look at this guy. He's dangling something in front of these kids. Yo, it's like, what is he dangling? Welcome to our island. Okay, here, sweet child. You know, we're going to take it, but first I'm going to dangle some intestines above your head to intimidate you. Yeah, right? Look yeah, right. You yeah, don't right? know what I'm doing. I got and the and the kids are like dumbfounded. I don't know. They look like they're happy about it. They're yeah. happy enough. We're they're getting happy. things. Hurrah! Dangled intestines. So yeah. I've already drank most of this. So I'm actually not gonna be having any. It's gonna be given instead to my partner here, Hashana. She'll be enjoying it. You may straight you may drink straight from the bottle if you so want. I do not care. Okay. Well what does it smell like? At least it smells to you. It smells tart but fruity. How does actually, if I may ask, how like, does it compare to the MD? I was just MD? gonna say, in comparison to this, this smelled very, very fruity, and you could smell more of the alcohol in it. This, it's more like you can smell the grapiness coming off of it, but uh, it's tart. It has like a almost a, a citrus kind of smell with it. Okay. So yeah, give it a swig. Not bad. You like that? Yeah. It is a very sweet wine. I mean, you can tell I like it. <laughs> I'm drinking 95% of the bottle. This one kind of dries out my mouth a little bit more than that one did. Oh, does it? But, but not much, like ever so slightly. It's not like dry or anything. If it's dry, just maybe a tad. I happen to like it because it is a very sweet wine. I actually do liken it to an alcoholic Welch's grape juice. Seriously, you guys, the intestines above this child's head. I mean, You're never going to let that go, are you? That's the only complaint I have about this. It was a good sweet wine, you know. Feels good in your mouth. Dirty jokes aside. <laughs> um, yeah, penis joke, but, penis joke. <laughs> but there are intestines on this bottle, and that is the only complaint that I have. Uh, yeah, it's good. you know, it's a good thing you got your water here. Because, you know, that, as I knock the bottle over, <laughs> wow! That's two in one night. I got. This, I'm probably drunk already, and I just don't know it yet. Excellent. So yeah, good thing you got water. Wash all that out. So those are those are basically it to kind of like recap all that. I mean, the MD, it was tard. It was good. I did like it. Yeah. It was it was good stuff. I actually okay. I will enjoy this. I'll actually, probably. I think I like the, the taste of, that. of the third better than that. One. Oh, you you liked uh, you like this? I think more? I actually did. Which surprised me, to be honest, because I thought that this one was going to be sweeter. Well, to be fair, this is a this is an incredibly cheap wine. You can probably get this at your at your wine sh your local wine shop for roughly five bucks. I'm not even, we got this for five dollars. It was shocking. It was it was the cheapest wine, arguably among the rack. This kind of wine, the the kind you get at the rent fair, it's going to cost you a pretty penny. This one probably costs somewhere around fifteen bucks. Uh, but it's, I mean, it is a good wine. It is a very good, sweet, it's a good wine. Um, it actually is kind of hard to get drunk off it. I would imagine you'd really only get drunk off it if you didn't eat all day. That'd probably be it because the alcohol volume is not high and so you're getting out for the amount you'd be paying. And then there's the caramel apple from Pinnacle. Then there, no, you know what? I don't, even need, I don't even need to say the caramel apple. I just need to say, the then tree. there's the Pinnacle. And how appropriate, as it's arguably the best thing we had tonight. Mm -hmm. this, this stuff, the pinnacle this stuff is so good. It's sweet advertising. You shouldn't get some pinnacle. Seriously. As far as vodka goes, this is the vodka with the least amount of alcohol Bert had. 
And it, the flavor is fantastic. If you can legally drink the drinks you should be drinking, that or whiskey, either either one put some hair on your chest. And then we have some pie. <laughs> have some nice some nice pie. And suddenly pie. Suddenly pie. Pie was another pie that I baked. It didn't turn out so hot. As you can tell by looking at it, it is a pretty sad looking pie. However, don't let that fool you. As we know, looks can be deceiving. This was a freaking delicious pie. What it was is I tried making an apple and raspberry pie. It was supposed to be an apple cinnamon pie with just some raspberries in it. But the, I only just started. Give me some slack. So what ended up happening was I forgot entirely to let the fruit marinate in the fridge. Usually what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to take the fruit and put sugar on it after it's been cut and let it sit so that way it develops a syrup. And that's basically the filling of any pie. Well, I kind of forgot to do that and so we pretty much ended up with just baked fruit inside of a pie crust. Pretty much a fail all around. So what happened is it actually still, according to her, turned out pretty good. Perfect. So let's let's give it a give it a taste here. It looks Kind of, it looks kind of like cobbler. So. You really just can't judge a book by its cover. That is good. It's not what we do. That is good. It's nice and tart. There's a lot of cinnamon in it. That's good. That's a really good pie. I make a good fu- So okay! That's pretty much it for this episode. You can tell we got the alcohol to slowly working through our systems. How are you feeling? I'm feeling like it's, uh... It's four in the morning, and uh, it's like tired, but it's almost like, ah, oh, I feel alive now. I'm, I'm still half zombie, but uh, the fire is awakening within. A shout out, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> so, okay, that's what we got for today. <laughs> and, yeah, be careful with alcohol. You don't want to get too drunk, you don't want to go out on the... If you're going to be driving, do not drink. And I gotta say that because it's a freaking Listen, bad idea. I know that you're you're if you're underage, you're gonna do it. But if your IQ is like higher than 120, you're gonna be okay. I'm not endorsing underage drinking, but I'm just saying if your IQ is less than 120, please, you can't afford to lose any more brain cells. You're gonna die in a car accident. Just don't do it. Just don't drink and drive. Don't 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 dr don't drink and anything. <laughs> just just don't. <laughs> Alcohol is not meant for that. Okay, alcohol is meant to do so. so. Getting is just stupid. I don't demean. Getting drunk is stupid. As Hashanah is my pie, which is really so it's cut on longer. So, right. kids. yeah. So okay, we enjoyed the episode. You have a good night. All right.